This book will help you become a better, happier, and more powerful person by using only one tool, the truth. When you tell the truth and can obtain the truth from others, you are manifesting your best qualities, both inwardly and outwardly. You are someone others want to have around. You are someone whom people listen to, learn from, and look to for strength. You respect yourself and others respect you. In short, your life is happier. Through dealing with hundreds of juries and analyzing news and newsmakers, I've learned that liars get caught and the truth always wins out. If you look closely at those around you, you'll realize that in your everyday interactions with friends, family, and colleagues, when you tell the truth, people like you, respect you, and are truthful with you in return. If you're being honest, whether in business or your personal life, you are both attractive and persuasive. People want to know you and help you more. By being truthful and understanding the truths that others tell you, you forge deep, powerful, life-changing bonds and relationships. How then does truth help you rise above? Why is telling truth easier and more powerful than not doing so? Mark Twain put it simply, If you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. The truth helps you inside and out, inside because you avoid that inner turmoil produced by lying, and in your outer life through trusting relationships with others. The truth not only shows on your face, it manifests in your life. You only have to tell the truth once, but you have to remember and retell a lie forever. According to Daniel Langebin, a psychiatrist at the University of Pennsylvania, Lying requires far more effort than truth-telling. His years of research in brain scan detection have proved that in order to tell a lie, the brain first has to stop itself from telling the truth. After that, it creates the deception and then catalogs it. The more you lie, the harder your brain works and the more tired you become. Your brain becomes a juggler with too many balls in the air. Or more specifically, concocting lies weighs you down and makes everything in life more difficult. There's wisdom in the old proverb that it's easier to simply tell the truth. The truth lifts the weight off your shoulders. It gives you a clear conscience, a sharpened focus, and a boost in power that no one can take away. Simply put, the truth will set you free. A lie, on the other hand, is a mean moving target. Just ask anyone who has ever been caught telling a lie or has fallen victim to one. That's probably all of us. You'll be hard-pressed to find someone who has never told a lie. We all lie in fairly regular and predictable ways. For instance, according to the research of Robert S. Fledman, a professor of psychology and the interim dean of the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences at the University of Massachusetts, people meeting for the first time lie to each other at a rate of two to three times for every 10 minutes of conversation. That's a whole lot of lying. But why do we lie? Lying is certainly an elusive combination of human traits. Of course they're real. It fits you perfectly. I have a headache. As you'll discover, though, lying is also a learned survival technique. We lie to build ourselves up, and because we think it will protect us from pain and suffering. That's the mistake. It does neither. Whether big or small, lies are eventually exposed, and the liars end up with egg on their faces. If you're 63, but your online dating profile says you're 42, sooner or later, someone you date will realize the math just doesn't add up. From then on, will this person be able to trust anything else you say? If your resume states you graduated Phi Beta Kappa with a 4.0 GPA from Harvard, it takes a human resources person only a few clicks of the computer mouse to check whether you are on the list of people who actually did. And if you think your extramarital dalliances won't catch up with you, you're wrong. Having served as counsel for the Democrats during the impeachment of President Bill Clinton, I've seen the dire consequences of big-time fibbing up close. It's not a pretty picture. Whether it's a sitting president, a famous athlete such as Tiger Woods, a public figure such as presidential candidate John Edwards, or simply one of the scores of adults around the globe who is caught in an adulterous situation every day, covering up sexual shenanigans almost always backfires. You will leave a trail, whether physical or emotional, 
and eventually will be caught, if not by your significant other, then certainly by your conscience.